And I think what we're looking at is an event that you're not going to be able to recover from. If this market snaps and the market's closed and you're not in position, you're out. You're out for the rest of your life. It's a, this is going to be an event that you can't recover from. Hey, guys, I have an urgent update. Today is Saturday, April 30th. And we have Bill Holter from JS Mindset back on the line. Guys, things are breaking down. Something big is happening. Recall the recent behind-the-scenes secret meetings between Obama and Yellen. And now on Friday, the U.S. Treasury has given explicit warnings to China, Germany, and Japan not to devalue their currencies. There's extreme dollar weakness, and the best-performing commodity asset to date has been silver and silver stocks. Bill, something big is going on. How are you? Good, Sean. Um, yes, yesterday, um, the USDX index closed at 93.01. Chartists were looking at the 93 and a half, 94 level. Uh, give it a little leeway and say a 92 handle is a breakdown. Under 93, you really have an elevator shaft if you look at the charts. Um, you can see a move down to the pretty quickly down to the uh, 86, 82 level, and then, of course, the all-time lows are, are 72. The dollar is devaluing versus other currencies. We've dropped from 98, 99 down to this 93 level. And, of course, you see gold and silver explode. Um, I said to a chart earlier showing gold priced in the USDX index, and you can see that's about ready to, to break out. Uh, it's maybe, what, 12 to 14 percent, something like that, below all-time highs based on all currencies. So if you, if you look at that chart, you can see the MACD looks to be uh, turning higher. And we've, we've got an event in the metals. Silver has been spectacular, obviously, and fooled a lot of people that trade it based on the COT numbers. The COT numbers for the last few weeks, open interest has expanded. I think there's something like 25. They finished the, the week or finished the, the well, beginning the May delivery period with 25 or 27 million ounces standing for delivery. They only have 32 million to deliver. The COT, there's more shorts, more commercial shorts in silver than there has ever been. And you've got pundit after pundit coming up saying, be careful, be careful. And silver just keeps chugging higher. So it's it's a head scratcher to the people who watch the COTs. It's not so much a head scratcher uh, to me. I mean, I, I firmly believe that you're going to see the COMEX busted. And we've just gotten done with, what, seven or eight days after the open of the ABX exchange. And I think you're definitely seeing the physical market start to overpower the Western paper markets. Yeah, that's right, Bill. And, uh, you know, the reason I think that something big is happening is because it's not easily explainable why silver's up 27% year to date if the banker paper manipulation was still able to rule the world. Uh, you know, with the SGE coming online and the gold fix in China, we see the move to physical happening in earnest. And what's going on over at the SGE bill, as you know, they don't want anything to do with LBMA paper or COMEX paper. And I think you're absolutely right about a COMEX default. Sooner or later, the jig is up, right? Because the, uh, the agents don't want anything to do with the COMEX or the LBMA. Well, of course. And I, I had a big uh, back and forth this week with a writer regarding a default on COMEX, it just makes common sense that when you have the three, four, five hundred times as many paper ounces sold for every one real ounce that exists, sooner or later there's going to be a blow up. And what this ABX exchange is doing is, and the, the, the fix in China, what it's doing is it's creating, it's real demand. In other words, when there are purchases made, it's actually gobbling up real metal. And it's tightening the market up. It's tightening the physical market up. And that's something that, that COMEX can't have. We can't have 
tight physical markets because physical markets, I mean, they don't deal in physical, they're dealing in paper. Well, Bill, one thing we know for sure, what's happened so far this year has defied every expert's expectations. You... Are you the